On 6 January 2021, the parliamentary candidate on the ticket of the NDC, Paul Evans Edu and the NDC petitioned the High Court for a resolution to declare the outcome of the December 2020 parliamentary election in the Serioso constituency as null and void and also refrain Dr. Kweku Efriye from holding himself as the MP-elect for the constituency. Yes, into the election, the court, upon hearing the accounts of all the parties, thus the petitioner, Paul Evans Edu, and the defendants, Dr. Kweku Efriye of the NPP and the Electoral Commission, declared that the case of the petitioner has no merit. Honorable Edu had alleged that there was no collation of results and also a ballot box from Seri Asamisu Community Center to polling station was snatched by some unidentifiable tags whilst being transported to the collation center at Yoso, but could not provide any evidence on these allegations. The presiding judge, His Lordship Justice Kwame Amwaku, indicated that there were contradictions and inconsistencies in the evidence he provided to the court. He therefore affirmed Dr. Kwekwe Friye as the Member of Parliament duly elected for the Sergioso constituency. After the court proceedings, the counsel for the defendant, lawyer Paul Nkwajapon, explained to City News the outcome of the final verdict of the NDC's petition. Uh, the irony of it all is that if actually the court found that uh, the NDC candidate had 265 votes at the said assignment committee center two police station and a had uh, 105. Then the difference would be could have, ch could have changed the results. But at the end of the day, the court, in his judgment, made the finding that from the evidence adduced and the exhibit standard in evidence by even the, the petition uh, the respondents. There was, there was collation of resource, and in that collation, a science of community center two police station resource were added. Then, the court also went ahead and made the finding that the petitioners claimed that they had two, six, five votes at the assignment committee, uh, what, two police station, who could have changed the resource wasn't possible. However, the lead counsel for the petitioner, lawyer Victor Kwajoga Adawudu, who was dissatisfied with part of the verdict, further expressed his joy about the fact that the court has made recommendations based on the issues that will see to the betterment of future elections. I, I, I disagree with part of the, the indictment, and I also the parts that I agree with. Um, and we respect what, what the court has said. But the interesting thing for us is the interesting for us is that the issues that we brought to court, the court in its own wisdom found out a way to make recommendations on those same issues for future elections, to shape the future elections. If it was a first case that we had, I don't think that the court would take advantage and make recommendations on that. Meanwhile, the Western North Regional Minister, Richard Eba Obin, could not hide his joy over the verdict, stating further that the outcome of the 2020 polls in Serioso was simply an expression of gratitude to His Excellency Nanado Dankwe Kufuado for the creation of the Western North region. And that day, I bet they did pay for Serioso for Wawaji NPP, Amanyo Konatum, Wamu Wankaye, and San Se, Abeyan, and here, and we are in our region. And to a more quiet and a more to a banner, or more to a ban Emma or Mampenina now to Dunque Cufado. And no, no, and this is why I'm waiting here. I will call to her. 
and no Miss so two abano and my doctor Koku a free. It's in Tia Wamuni say MPP for Waha, or Yanko Padom, and a court, no crack and you know, Yahoo say MPP, and a Timamu for was a few years so constituency, or Matuaba Ama Yura, Doctor Koku a free. That notwithstanding, the first respondent and MP for a few years so constituency. Dr. Kweku Efriye described the NDC's petition as needless and in federance indicated that the constituency is becoming a stronghold for the NPP. This was a needless, uh, you know, petition to the court to give this. The NDC went fishing for a hundred votes so that you could overturn my slim majority. But those of us here, know that I would have won by a huge majority if it were not for the issue of independent candidate. And I hope our party will learn a lesson from this. So that was what nearly caused this. But even for the first time in a U.S. history, presidential, we won here. So in fact, when you do the analysis, Chairman, when we just spoke to you, this place is turning out to be one of our strongholds. It's an emerging struggle because this phenomenon should not deceive anybody. The voter intention is with regard to the presidential vote. And the president won handsomely for the first time. I got this, uh, Stanley Bwedi for City News.